I um, basically suck at any kind of romantic relationship. I'm not good at it. I'm, I'm deficient in that area of my life. Uh, yeah, yeah. 49 years old. Been with two narcissists or toxic people, whatever you want to call them. I know people don't like you saying someone's a narcissist because I don't have a degree. I get it. Whatever. Two dickheads. Never mind. When you're almost 50 years old and you realize that literally no man that you loved has ever loved you back. That every relationship you've had has been a manipulation and not a relationship. That fucks you up. Fucks you up good. So... And then you have to do all this fucking self-help stuff, all this self-awareness stuff, and it fucking sucks. It sucks. Because then you also realize that you just can't blame the fucking assholes either. You have to put some of the responsibility on yourself. So that's the sucky part of it. Then you try. You're like, well, when do I get to date again? Because I am getting up there in age. I'm getting fucking old, and I want to find a partner. I want to be with somebody. I want to share my life. I'm a fun, cute, spunky little redhead. I want someone to hang out with and and grow old with. I want what every fucking person in the entire world wants. But how the fuck do I get it? When I have been so bad at it my entire fucking life. So I thought maybe I had been healed enough that I found this person that I was, I thought he was the one. I really did. Turns out, no, he's not the one. And that's okay. That's okay. Because I also found out that there is a lot of healing that I have to do, but I don't know that I'll ever be fucking done. And I get it. I get it. There's probably somebody out there who will take this imperfect person and put up with her. And maybe even like putting up with her. But I don't want to go through life feeling like I am damaged goods. I am Rubosamon, yeah, Rubosamon. Rubosamon till the day that I'm gone. Rubosamon, yeah, Rubosamon. Rubosamon, yeah, Rubosamon. Everyone always on your You know, as a woman, right? You have to question yourself. How much you flopped in life. The fact that you're a 49 year old. Coming to 50. And you don't have no children. You don't have a man. You don't have no stable relationship. You don't have no stable home. You don't have none of that. All you have is a history of being run up, done up, bun up, spun up, gun up. By a bag of man. And just a load of utter nonsense throughout your history. That's all you have in your life. You have such a... An easy job You can never compare yourself to a man saying life is difficult I don't care Even if you're the most unattractive woman There's still going to be a guy that's going to be looking your way As for a man Ain't no woman going to be looking his way So you can never compare yourself saying that the difficulties that you face in life Is going to be the same as a man it Will never be the same And yet even then you, you flop so badly You couldn't even do the one thing It's literally handed to you on a plate Even if you're an overweight woman and that, you didn't do anything about it. You didn't go to the gym, you didn't start working on your body to make sure that you slim down and get to the appropriate weight. These things that could have been worked on, there was no excuse for that. Whereas a man, he can't do anything regarding his height. So you can't compare these types of situations whatsoever. And even then, you still couldn't do one thing for yourself. For your future You jeopardise all of that For the sake of getting some clap into your cheeks By a bag of man That never gave a toss about you That never will give a toss about you And still you will remain getting your cheeks clapped By men that don't give a toss about you Because that's how you are That's what you like And this is why I can't feel sorry For these type of women these days Because at the end of the day These are the bad decisions and choices That you've made You could have easily had That life You could have had the opposite You could have had that loving family, that man that gave a toss about you, that was putting in that effort. 
day after day to make sure that man would have been there. There's loads of men out there, right, that would have been that man to you. But you threw them away for the sake of going for someone that did not care for you at all. And a lot of women are still going to do this. No, I'm saying this now, no one really gives a toss about it. That's, that's the reality. You're still going to get into the same predicament because that's just how you are. That's how you're going to move. But at the end of the day, if you want certain results in life, then you can't be moving this way. You can't be thinking that I can just do this and I can still gain all of these other things. No, you will never get that. You can't just get your cheek clap and think that you're going to get some sick man out here that's going to be taking care of you, looking after you, protecting you, giving you everything in this dunya, in this world. And your cheeks are just being, and your dances are just being stretched out by every single man. Bun that. I don't know what delusional world you think you're living in, but that's just not reality. But I just can't understand why at such a big age have you not managed to found, find someone. And now you're giving all of this sad talk with the sad music and all of this and that saying that, oh, you know, saying dealing with a bunch of D heads and that you was loving it when you was dealing with these guys. That's the type of man you like. That's the type of man a lot of women like and you would love to get piped by that type of man because he's treating you like that. He's being that D to you. Because anytime a good guy comes, you're going to find him too boring or he's too stable. You're not going to like it. He just, he's not treating you like the, the piece of trash that you want to feel like. You want. You, you see what I'm trying to say? That's why you like those type of men. But now at this age, you're going to come to realization that you're never going to be able to get the same thing that you could have had when you was in your early 20s, when you was at your peak. Because now you're not at your peak. You're completely gone out of the radius. No man's coming to check. Like you want a man who you want to grow old with is by far gone now. You could have had that, but it's by far gone. And this is what I always talk about. I always talk about the reality. I don't give people no delusion in that. I just tell you how it is. At the end of the day, you want certain things, then act and behave in a certain way to get that certain thing. Don't think that you can just get anything and everything you want in life by just doing whatever the hell you want. It just does not work like that. This is reality. This is not anime. This is not a bloody cartoon. This is not some imaginary world you're dreaming about when you're sleeping at night. This is not that. This is why it's so important to have a mother and father in the household and the father showing the traits of how a man is supposed to be a leadership, showing those kind of traits and the mum showing the submissive traits, dealing with being a housewife, dealing with the home, looking after the kid and nurturing them and the family. Kids will then become strong. Kids will naturally learn and then they will grow up to be good people that can benefit into society rather than what, what we're seeing now is all broken kids broken dynamics broken this broken that and this is like something people don't understand like you think that is okay you need to think before you do certain things in life don't think that just because you're in your feelings you're in your feelings and you're, you're in the mood to do that that you're not going to be bearing the fact of the consequence that comes with that. You have to think. There's no excuse to it. I don't care about this exception to the rule stuff. There's no excuse to it. You should have used your brain. Especially if you're a big adult. You should. You have more than enough capability to understand before doing certain things. And if you don't, then that leads back to something in, in your past. But this is what I'm trying to say. At the end of the day, women that are coming out. At ages of 50 and that looking for the, the love of their life now and feeling what, like it's gone. Dream is gone. Forget about that. Now you just have to live with any bum out here. Just, just forget about your six figure man. Forget about this man that's proper onto doing big stuff in life and that. Forget about all of that. Is it you're on a different path now? Completely different path. This is what happens when you keep following your feelings and you just want to just jump into any bad boys ding dong. Your future don't look good. Should have kept that downstairs area clean. You shouldn't be dealing with any boys. You should have got married to a good man and then lived your happy life in a nice stable home with your kids and a man that actually gave a toss about you and you, you were pure as a virgin. That 
you would get so much respectful. 